Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today I want to share a quick procedure that allows you to share your GPU with multiple Hyper-V virtual machines. As you can see on this Windows 11 host, I've got an AMD Radeon GPU that I would like to share with multiple VMs. I'm going to use GPU partitioning to accomplish this. Let's take a look at the VM I want to share the GPU with. If I open Device Manager on the VM, I can only see the Microsoft Virtual Display Adapters and no physical GPUs. Should I run a benchmark tool like Evan, it will fail as it can't find a GPU to utilize. Now, let's add our GPU to this VM. The first thing we need to do is shut down the VM in question. It's important that you make sure that you've got no snapshots on this VM, otherwise the following procedure won't work. Now that we ensured the machine has no snapshots, we powered it down. Browse to the following location on your Windows Hyper-V host. Go to the Windows System32 Driver Store folder. Now for most GPUs, including the AMD GPU that I want to share, we are after this file repository folder on the host. This is the folder that contains the drivers that we need to put on the VM. Copy the complete file repository folder from the host PC. Now on the host machine, browse to the VM in question where you want to assign the GPU. Locate the virtual hard drive for this VM. We want to right click this drive and mount it. Now on the mounted virtual machine drive, browse to the Windows System32 folder. On the mounted VM, ensure you are in the correct folder, Windows System32. In here, we are going to create a new folder called Host Driver Store. Right click and create the new Host Driver Store folder. Enter this folder. Now we want to paste the file repository folder we copied earlier and we want to paste it into this host driver store folder we just created. Now for most GPUs, including this AMD GPU, this is all the files we need. If you are running an NVIDIA GPU, you need to follow one more step. NVIDIA users also need to copy all the files starting with NV from the host system32 folder and paste that into the same location on the VM drive to the system32. And now that we've copied all the required driver files to the virtual machine, go ahead and eject the drive that you've mounted. Now next, open up PowerShell ISE in admin mode. And we're now ready to run the following PowerShell script. This will assign the GPU to our VM. Now in the Hyper-V manager, copy the name of the VM that you want to assign the GPU to. In my case, I'm assigning the GPU to a VM called Add GPU VM. So I'm just going to go ahead and replace the name at the top of the script with my VM's name. Now select everything in this script, copy it and paste it into your PowerShell. Now go ahead and execute this script and this should assign the GPU to your VM. Now with all the steps complete, start up the VM again. Open the device manager and confirm that you can see the GPU now being shared with this VM. And if all went according to plan, you should now see your GPU listed under the display adapters. And make sure everything looks correct and you don't see an exclamation mark next to your GPU. That would mean that it's still missing some drivers. And now with a proper GPU on the VM, you should be in a position to assign some graphical workloads. I'm going to benchmark this VM using Evan again and let's see if it now renders using the GPU. I hope this video could help you in sharing your GPU with Hyper-V VM. If you found any value in this video, consider giving us a thumbs up or subscribing to the channel. And keep an eye on our channel for future technology videos.